Hello, in this video, I wanted to uh, highlight the importance of opportunity cost. So, we are having limited capital, each one of us, and we cannot block our capital in ways where, you know, we are not efficiently utilizing it. And there may be better ways of utilizing our capital that can enhance our returns over time. Uh, so, so, besides looking for opportunities that give us better returns, uh, besides looking for uh, situations where we can reduce the downtime in our stocks or in portfolios, we want to es essentially uh, allocate our capital most efficiently as much as possible, you know, without uh, really, you know, doing any high churn of stocks or portfolio, etc., but doing it very conveniently with a strategy. So, let's just take an example, and this could be any stock. I'm just taking Yes Bank as an example. Uh, because it is uh, very much ingrained in our minds but a lot of stocks have gone through the same sort of run so you know let's assume let's say you bought here somewhere in april 17 around 300 rupees and then in the next year year and a half 16 months later the stock is at 393 and you've made 20 to 30 percent returns you're very happy and you think it can keep going higher and it could uh, but something happened here and you know a month later the stock is again back at 320 now we've lost the gain but you know we are confused about the stock we are very confident about of course the company and the future because we've really done a lot of research on it and we are very very sure that you know a bank like this cannot go lower so while our Profit is lost and that is okay. We want to wait for some more time. We maybe want to average. We are pretty sure that it will come back and it comes down to, you know, 175, uh, maybe 40% lower from where we invested. And now we are, our psychology tells us that, you know, we need to wait it out. We need to wait for better pricing, our price to come down because our price becomes important in our mind although the market doesn't owe you anything about that price it need not come back to 320 ever so we want to aid, uh, wait or maybe an average here and then it starts to go back and we are again hopeful that you know it will come back to our average price and then go higher but then it doesn't happen like that and the stock crashes and you know we are sitting five years later stock is at 15 rupees we've lost 95 percent of our capital and we can do nothing about it really so was there at any point of time an opportunity to reassess your initial thesis and possibly you know make better use of capital without having gotten emotionally attached to the stock so that is the sort of one question that would be there in the mind another example we can take let's take itc for instance we hit a high in 2017 and we are now near hitting that particular point back uh, after about five years so again breakouts here near 260 270 somebody could have bought here in this entire leg but have would have had a you know dramatic four year of disappointment in times when everything else was running so while you know it is good that the stock has come back and you know after five years, your depreci inflation depreciated capital uh, probably would have gone down by 40% from that perspective, but let's not get into that. So question is, was that at, at any point of time after this fall, after this consolidation, after this fall, a decision could have been taken that, you know, there is better opportunity elsewhere, but then once this starts to show momentum, we can come back to it later on. Uh, so this was another example that I wanted to show you. And if I extend that example and say that what if, you know, once it started to fall here, let's say somewhere around here, uh, when it was 270, 260, you decided to invest that money in Nifty instead. And now come back to, uh, you know, 2022 and you've seen that Nifty would have gained 83% in the same time while you've you've come back to even so maybe that switch could have happened at this stage uh, you know getting out of nifty and getting into itc again now that the momentum is back so essentially 
saying that of course this is all hindsight and one can have a 2020 hindsight vision but there can be mechanisms where you can stop endless bleeding in your stocks you can stop endless waiting in a sideways stock and there are so many examples where stocks have done nothing for 10 years and then you know have gone ballistic in the next 2 years and if you caught a portion of that 2 year rise that would have made up much more money than you would have made in this in that 10 years of sitting so the opportunity cost is very very important because money is depleting every minute there is a time value to money your money is depleting every minute if it's not gaining please understand that uh, the inflation dynamics of money so bottom line is can you invest in a strategy that can beat inflation that can beat benchmark i mean beating inflation itself is very good matching the benchmark itself is extremely good but if you are able to beat the benchmark also then that will be you know extreme nirvana in my view and if you can compound based on that that's like amazing so this strategy of ours mi india top 10 has been doing that in our study and we have launched it a few days ago and we hope that it can keep outperforming the benchmark uh, over a period of time and this is extremely a uh, simple strategy with only 10 nifty stocks uh, you know invested in this portfolio the 10 strongest nifty stocks in any given month and at the end of the month we re- will rebalance and remove any weakness if there is from the nifty 10 stocks and add a new stronger stock so that the survival of the fittest is always in play and you're never sort of your capital is never getting dragged by stocks that are bleeding so there can be stocks even reliance for instance you know did not do anything for 10 years it just stayed stagnant wipro didn't do anything for 10 years stayed stagnant several stocks kept falling for several years but they are large large weightages in nifty so while you are buying nifty etf buying nifty uh, funds you were you are inadvertently buying these losers uh for that period in nifty so why not you know get into only the best uh, strongest nifty stocks and improve that performance so this is uh something that we are very confident about and uh, there is an opportunity till 28th of august to get into this strategy at a very attractive offer please use get 40 if you wish to subscribe to this and uh, and uh, let us know at support at weekendinvesting.com if you have any queries about this or any other uh, strategy of ours thank you so much bye